If you're still building slides manually, you're basically living in 2010. Today, I'm showing you how Gamma App lets you create entire presentations beautifully designed from just a few words. Gamma is an AI tool that builds presentations, documents, and even websites for you instantly. Just enter your idea and boom, Gamma does the rest. The copy, the layout, the visuals, done in minutes. You don't need to spend time designing, formatting, or doing any extra work. Imagine being able to impress your colleagues or clients with beautiful attention grabbing presentation. That is why in this video, I partner with Gamma to show you step by step how you can easily create slides, social posts and websites with Gamma by just entering your idea. My name is Charles. Let's go. We are going to start with turning text to beautiful presentation. So. The first step is to go to gamma.app. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. If you click on the link, it's going to take you to this page right here. So you can get started for free. Just click on start for free. Now you've signed up, you can create your presentation. From here on, you're going to see like three different options to create a presentation. The first method, which is paste in text, lets you turn your notes or any existing content to presentation using AI. So if I click here, I can just paste any text or outline I have and use it to generate a slide deck. Now let's go back. The second method allows you to create a presentation by just entering a simple text prompt or an idea. Let's open this. All I need to do is just to enter my idea and then the AI will generate the presentation. Let's go back again. And then for this method over here, I'm just going to open it. So let's say you're already working on something. If you have an existing document or a link and you want the AI to enhance it, then you can just use this option. Let's go back. Now, before we continue, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. There are lots of helpful videos here. So what we are going to do is to use the most popular option, which is the generate from idea option. So we click on it. Since we are creating a presentation, we'll leave this option at presentation. I want the AI to create a marketing presentation for my skincare brand. Now, just above the prompt bar, you can select the number of cards and cards simply means slides. So I'll leave this at eight cards. You can also change the card size by clicking on this drop down here. I don't want to change it, so I'll just leave it at default. Now, Gamma also allows you to create a presentation in different languages. So you could just select this drop down here to choose a language. Next, click on generate outline and boom. Gamma has created an outline for our presentation. You can see the intro, the brand story and other outlines for the marketing presentation. I can decide to edit this outline or just reposition the cards by clicking down, dragging the card. We can also add a new card by clicking on this add card button here, but we'll leave that for now. Gamma has lots of beautiful pre-made themes for the slides, so you can choose what works best for you. I'm going to choose this one. Down here, you can just adjust the text and the image styles. Do you want something concise, detailed, or slides with extensive text? For this, I'm going to select concise. Next is the image source. Here, Gamma allows you to choose the source of the images that will be used in the presentation. So if you click on it, You'll see other sources like AI images, web images, illustrations, stock photos, and all that. I'm going to leave it at default, which is AI images. This way, the AI will generate the images in the presentation. You can also select the AI image model. As you can see here, they have the latest models. They have Flux, Context, Imagine 3, Luma, and other quality models. I'm going to leave it at Flux model. Now we can hit Generate. And just like that, Gamma is building the presentation slide by slide. And boom, our presentation is ready. Over on the left panel, you can see all our slides or cards. Looks beautiful. Just look at this. Clean presentation. The images are stunning. It captured what I wanted for the brand. From the brand story to the product showcase to market opportunity to marketing strategy and all others. You know, I could just decide to change anything here. But um, you know what? I'm going to change the theme. So at the top right corner of the screen, I'm going to click on theme and then select a the theme. Beautiful. 
I love this blue team because it gives more of the brand feel. If you click on card templates, you can see different templates that you can use in your slides. Now to add it, just click on the template and you can see it here. You can just add a heading and a description or you just generate with AI and same thing for the image. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to add it. So I'll just delete. Now I want to change the look of this slide. So on the top left of this card, I'll click on edit with AI. And then I can ask the AI to improve the writing, fix uh, grammar spellings, make long or shorter, or even be more specific. But what I want to do is to change the whole look of the slide. So I'll click on try new layout. And just like that, the AI is generating different layouts for the slides. I can just easily select the one I want. I'm going to pick this one right here. It blends with other cards on the presentation. It also blends with my branding. You can see how beautiful it looks. Wow. Now I'm going to scroll down to another slide and click on edit with AI. This time I'm going to make the slide shorter. So I'll click on make shorter and boom, <laughs> our slide is condensed. Now on the right panel, click on smart layouts. Here you can use any of these pre-made layouts. Just drag and drop into your card and you have this layout that you can easily edit. Now back to the right panel, if you click on basic blocks, you can add new blocks like titles, headings, tables, lists, call out boxes and other interactive blocks. This gives you the flexibility to design the card the way you want. Another interesting feature in Gamma is that you can ask the AI to redesign any image in the presentation. Let's say I want water droplets on the product image here. What I'll do is to click on this image, then click on ask AI to, and then click on chat with AI. Here I'm going to say, change the background of the image and send. Now it's asking, what background would you like instead? And it has given four options. I'm going to go um, with this. I'm going to click on add water droplets and boom, it has redesigned the image. Beautiful. <laughs> it looks more engaging with the water droplets. What if I want the bottle to have a label? I can go back to the chart. You can see that it has given suggestions for more changes. I'll go ahead and click on add a label to the bottle and boom. We have a new image with a label on the bottle. This is so cool. Now I noticed something. This presentation doesn't have a contact us section. So I'm going to add it. We are going to start by adding a new card. So at the bottom of the slide, we'll click on the plus icon. And now we have a new card on the top left of the card. I'm going to click on edit with AI and then click on chat with AI. Here I can say add a contact section sent and boom it just designed a new card you can see the image it generated in match with the branding i can decide to change this image here so just click on image then click on edit with ai click on this drop down here and select ai images you can see it automatically generated a prompt so we can use this prompt just click on generate and boom three images generated i'm going to select this one and as you can see, it has changed the image in the slide. Gone are those days where you have to use five tools to create a presentation. You jump from here to this app, to another app, and then to another app. Now, everything can be done inside Gamma. All right? Okay, now you can move this image to adjust which part is shown. Just click on change focus point and just move the focus points. You can see the image position is changing. All right. Once you're done with creating your presentation, you can just easily share it to your colleagues, clients, or your boss. Just navigate to the top right of your screen and click on share. You can invite members to review the slides or just go ahead and share it. So just click on share. Then you can share this link over here or you know just export it you can export the presentation to pdf powerpoint file google slides or export as png images you can also embed your presentation to any website or straight up publish it to a website now let's look at the presentation that we created look at this
this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Let's say I want to present this to a client right now. I can just click on present on the top right of the screen and boom, we are good to go. This is an absolute game changer. Now, apart from creating a presentation, you can also create a document on Gamma. For example, I want to create a course manual for my team. So I'm going to go to the home page and click on this button that says create new. I'll select the paste in text option. Here, I'm going to select the output as document. And down here, if you click the drop down, you'll be able to change the page style. So I'm going to leave it on default. And over here, you can paste the text that you have. Since I already have the course outline, I'll be pasting it here. So I'm going to go get the course outline. I'm going to copy all this. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come back to Gamma and paste the text here. Next, just scroll down and choose what you want to do with the content that you have. If you want to generate, summarize, or preserve the exact text. Since I only have the course outline, I want to generate. So I'll select this first option, generate from notes or an outline, then click continue to prompt editor. As you can see, Gamma gives you full control of how you want the document to look like. You can adjust the settings here or just go ahead and click on continue to generate the document. Now, under the settings, if you want the AI to generate content, you choose the generate option. If you want the AI to shorten the content, you choose the condense. But if you want Gamma to reformat and keep your original content, you can choose preserve. So for the amount of text in slide, you can just leave it at concise so that the text and image would have some sort of balance. And of course, you can choose minimal, detailed, or extensive, depending on what you want. And down here, under right for, you can enter who this course is for. Here, it has already prefilled that it's for team leads, managers, project coordinators, which is fine for me. Next, you can set the tone. I'm going to leave it at clear, concise, and instructional. For images, since it's a course, I can set the image to illustration so that Gamma would use illustrations instead of generating images. Then on the content section, I'll change it to freeform so that Gamma can divide the content into cards. And by the right, there's an option uh, for you to add additional instructions. So you can add more instructions here, like make this more visual. You don't need to do this. I just decided to add this. Now, once you're done, at the bottom, click on continue. So here you can just pick a team. So I'm going to select this dark team, then click on generate. And just like that, you can see the AI creating the course document, adding illustrations and other engaging elements. Wow, this is beautiful. Now you can edit any part of this document. If you click on this element and click on timeline, you can just change it to bullets, boxes, or outlines. I'm going to select bullets. And it has been changed. This looks good. Let's say I want to change or restyle this image. Click on the image. Click Ask AI 2. Then click Chat with AI. So here I can say Add a workshop background. And boom, it has changed the image. If I don't like this, I can you know go back to the chat and click on the previous image to change the image back to the previous image. And our course manual is ready. <laughs> you can share it to your colleague, your manager, or your boss. Now, here is another future in Gamma that is absolutely insane. Let's say I want to generate social media content for my skincare brand. On the home page, I'm going to click on new, then click on generate. Here, I'll select social. Since it's for social media, I'll click this drop down and change the page style to stories. Next, I'll enter an idea and then hit generate outline. And boom, the outline for the social media carousel is ready. Next, we select a theme. Then we choose the text style. I'll leave it at concise. I want the images to be generated by AI. So I'll keep the AI source default as AI images. Then at the bottom, I'll hit generate. And there you have it. Gamma is generating our social carousel. And boom, we are ready. You can see the cards. Everything looks beautiful. And all the generated images relate to the content of the posts. I can now share this on my brand page or just make a few tweaks to the design. Now, can you add videos to your card? Let's try it. For example, I want my audience to watch more videos after reading this post. So I'm going to start by adding a card. 
then click on edit with AI. Next, I'll enter a text that says, add watch more videos section and hit enter. Boom, our card is designed. Next, we click on videos and media on the right panel. Since it's a YouTube video I want to share, I'll click and hold on YouTube and then drag it to the card. Here, I'll paste the YouTube video link or just paste the embed code. Cool. I think this title will look better at the top, so I'm just going to move this to the top. It looks good now. If I click on the text on this button, I can change it from watch now to watch more videos. Just delete this. Cool. Now, what if I want to change the team? Easy, right? At the top, I click on teams, select a new team. Uh, this blue doesn't match my brand color. So I'll try another one. Boom. Perfect. This team blends seamlessly with my design and brand. This looks slick and professional. Gamma is absolutely a game changer. Let me show you why. So if you click on share and then click on view analytics, you can view the analytics and see how many people viewed the entire presentation and the cards that they engaged with the most, which is pretty helpful. If you think that was cool, then you're not even ready for the next. Gamma lets you build a website just by entering your idea. Let's say I want a website for my skincare brand or uh, on the home page, I'll just click on create new, then click generate. This time I'll pick web page and then enter a website idea here and then hit generate outline. Once the outline is ready, I'm going to come down and pick a team that matches my brand and then leave everything the same. Then hit generate. The AI is building our website <laughs> from the hero section to the footer. In just minutes, I have a professional website for my brand. Wow. I love this team style and structure. Now, if you navigate to the top left, this is where you can add a logo. Here you can also add a link to another page. I'm going to add a link to our products page here, which is auragroup.com slash products. And then I'm going to rename this button to our products. I can even add a call to action button here. So I'll add the link to the page and then I'll call this button contact us. Now to change the color of this button, just click on color and pick your color. Good. Then you can just make more adjustments to the sides. I can see a section with orange color. For me, it doesn't blend in properly. So I'll just scroll down to that section, click on card styling, select card color, then pick a new color. And now every other thing looks very good. I have a website in five minutes. <laughs> now, what's left is to publish this website. But before publishing, if you click on these three dots and click on site settings, you can change the site name, upload a favicon, change the nav by design, and add your Google tag and Facebook pixel code, which is pretty helpful. And over here is your domain that you can just copy and share. This is a free domain given to you by Gamma. But if you want a custom domain, you just have to like, upgrade your account to connect your domain. And when you're ready to go live, just click publish. Gamma is pretty easy to use. Anyone can use it. Try out Gamma for yourself. I've left the link to Gamma in the description of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. There are lots of helpful videos in this channel. Don't forget to like and share this video. I'll see you in this video here. Watch it. I created it for you.